Hi, I'm Chong Chi Ming, President of the PGA of Malaysia and today I'm going to present to you how to play greenside bunker shots. So here you will see the lines, my footprint and this shows you how to properly set up for a greenside bunker shot. Like right here, I'm going to play a slightly high one where I open up my club face. So the first thing is that I want to create a slightly open stance so my feet are set up to the left of target so as you can see the line along my feet it's aiming left once I've set up my feet to aim left I place my ball towards my left heel from this angle yeah now at this point when I set up my club I want my club face to be open so this is where I, I set my club face position, now it's square. So I want it to open up about 30 to 40 degrees, right? And this is the most effective position for a sand wedge for you to use the flange of the club and create that bounce through the sand. So I'll show you the setup again. Now, once I get into this setup position, you will see that my club face is now more open, pointing up to the sky. And from here, my target is to create a blast. So the stroke for the blast is a relatively steep stroke. So from the setup position, what you want to do is feel like you're hinging your arms quite soon after the takeaway. So it looks like this as opposed to a normal takeaway, you would look like this. All right, so the difference is that when you attack down into a bunker shot and create that blast, to create that blast, you want to create like a V-shaped entry. So now I'll show you what you should be feeling when you hit a bunker shot. You want to create this thump. You want to hear the thump. So it's going to sound a little something like this. A lot of good bunker players, you'll find that they'll hardly create such a long follow through, right? Because all the force goes into the sand, right? Behind the ball. And don't forget, the sand always pushes the ball out of the bunker. So never hit the ball, right? So after you establish the stroke, you want to Make sure you target the sand behind the ball. So the club should enter the sand a little more than two inches behind the ball. And this will create the right thumb and in turn a good blast with the sand pushing the ball softly out of the bunker. Right. Here are some frequently asked questions. Now, one of it is, why do we need to make sand angels with our feet? Now, this is actually to stabilize your feet. So it's actually not because it looks good, but it's to stabilize your feet in soft sand. Now, if your sand in the bunker is quite firm, then you need not do this too much, All right? Okay, the next question is, why do we need to open the club face? Now, when you open the club face, what happens is the bounce, which is the sole, will start to protrude. And when that happens, it will create a better glide for the club through the sand and stop you from digging continuously. Right. So that's the purpose of, one of the purpose of why we should open the club face. The other is to create better loft and softer landing bunker shot. Yeah. Right, what happens commonly in the bunker? 
is people trying to help the ball out of the bunker. Now once you achieve your setup with the club face open, the ball force will go upwards and that's from blasting the sand with an open club face. Now you need not actually try to help it anymore because the, the club face will do all of that for you once you create a nice blast with the sand pushing the ball out. All right, the next frequently asked question and problem is why you hit too much sand. Now, when you hit too much sand, the focus is, yes, you're focusing on the blast, but what happens is the body does not continue to rotate through and you lack that follow through. So what I, I try to think about when I counter, to counter that problem is to try to imagine like when I blast the sand, I want this patch of sand to land on the green. So for me to do that, I'd have to create a follow through. So enough force to blast the sand onto the green. So it'll look something like this. All right, so it's a nice firm thump and blast that sand onto the green. Now don't forget to smoothen out the sand with your feet as during the pandemic, most courses will not provide you with a rake. 